really uh, appreciate uh, you all showing up, and we've got a lot of things that we wanted to cover, and we hope to have some time for uh, those of you who have something to say to, to stand up and say it. So I'm just going to fly through a few things here. First of all, how many of you don't know what Project Sunspot is about? Do we have any of those folks in the crowd? Okay, so I'm just going to do a real quick videos, including things like Mike's Flying Bike, the one on the upper uh, right that's been viewed, I think it's getting close to 150,000 times now. If you haven't seen Mike's Flying Bike and how he takes uh, sunspots and makes his bicycle fly around the world, check it out. It's really cool. Um, I'm trying to go through this stuff fast so that uh, we've got time to talk about what you guys are doing and, and all the things that are going on, so excuse me if I'm, I'm going fast here. Okay, so uh, right now I'd like to introduce uh, Sunspot related stuff. Okay. Circuit Mike. Hi, uh, like Roger said, my name is Mark Koch. Um, I am a uh, Sun Labs alumni. Um, I left uh, a while ago and I went to start my own company called Circuit Monkey. Um, and I'm doing right now accessories for the Sunspot. So I have two products right now, which uh, one is a breakout board, which takes the 20 bit header that's on the spot, which has the digital lines and the analog lines and the switches, and brings them out to something that you can use a screwdriver to right? or come out to a little white breadboard. So you, if you want to put an op in or transistors or whatever, uh, you can build circuits with your uh, uh, with your spot now. Uh, this big range. Um, and then the, uh, the uh, breakout board is, I think, $48.25 on the website. Completely assembled, comes with the cable. Um, so ready to go. Uh, you, you may need to solder your little, the little 20 pin connector that came with your spot. You may need to solder them. A combination of a GPS and a Bluetooth module. It has a humidity sensor. Uh, and let's see. The other thing we're working on is voltages it needs to, to maintain and so on. Um, all of these, I know one of the frustrations from, from our standpoint is that all this new, cool new hardware gives you guys lots of ideas and then you say, and how do I get this stuff? And uh, all I can tell you is that right now I'm working, we're, we're all working, but know of anyone who's interested in building and selling some of this stuff, including sunspots themselves, um, come see us. Um, we can talk about what a fantastic deal we can make them, where basically they get a bunch of free products to go commercialize, and it's, what could be better? You know? All right, uh, next up. Roger. So this is one of the new demos that's part of the Red Release. So if you download the Red Release, you can play with the spot web. Unlike most of our demos, we also Red have commercial release. spots. This one does require real spots. actualized. And to that end, uh, sensor is a sensor is a sensor, and we want to be able to collect Data. If you can sense, and if you can send that data, we want to collect it and be able to provide you the API to put that data with us and also visualize that data to extract meaning out of it uh, so that you can draw interesting correlations and associate the value by combining these different sensing capabilities that you used, whether it is sunspots, cell phones, uh, servers, uh, automobiles, uh, iPhones, what have you. So, um, is the website? In the R&D department, it's a global function for, that works for all the countries. And I think it's interesting that before talk about the, the, the system, talk a little about the motivation and, and the status of machine to machine involved. Uh, if you have a big company, you are a water or electrical uh, supplier to devices uh, or some technology to, to, to send that measurements. But that is not the same, it's not the same for, for a small, medium enterprise, for some home for individuals. And we know we are sure that these people, these companies, can create successful business with uh, many services and across the building. Uh, Thanks, Roger. Um, how many people here have ever used Solarium with our Sunspot kit? People, okay. One of the things we've been really working on this last year is trying to improve the tools to make it easier to work with Sunspots and to, to sort of debug and, and develop programs. So one of the things that we wrote earlier was an emulator. So this is allows people to try out Sunspot programs on their laptop without having to have a physical device there. Um, and people can then download and try out these before they even 
buy sunspots. Uh, tightening up a lot of the macular code in the process of getting the radio view done. Uh, those of you that played with sunspots are probably aware we have a dynamic routing protocol. It's based on what's called AODV. Uh, basically, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, the, uh, we talk about my experience with the sunspots. Uh, basically, I started with the sunspots when they arrived to Mexico. And let's say a close friend of Sun Mexico. I had them serve their office in Mexico. Shopping them all in the last, uh, last January, and that uh, Politiva is my daughter, and um, <laughs> cool. some broadcast stations reported our demonstration. For example, NHK broadcast transport. Uh, NHK members uh, worked for implementing the applications. Uh, but uh, I didn't uh, help them. But I wanted to all, I wanted to also play with the sunspot. Then uh, I.